Parashat Toldot in the book of Genesis relates the story of Isaac and Rebekah. Rebekah is unable to have children. Isaac prays to God. And later in the story, approximately 20 years after this event, she's able to conceive. And she has, she's expecting twins. Now, in general, the idea of twins in ancient history is a story of two individuals who can complement each other, who work well together. But that's not the story of Jacob and Esau. Esau is born first, he's red, his hair is red, he is strong, and Jacob the supplanter, that's what it really means, is holding to his heel, trying to hold on his right to get also out of Rebekah's womb first, but he comes second. Later on, Jacob will buy the birthright from Esau in a situation that is quite comical. He comes back, Esau is tired, he wants to eat something, and at that point, when he is very vulnerable, Jacob says, I'll give you food if you sell me your birthright. And he does that. But Jacob is not doing this, you know, in the, by himself. He has some help. He is really associated with his mother, Rebecca, and trying to deceive Isaac, who is now very old, and trying to then gain Isaac's blessing and continue with the birthright and whatever that entails. Of course, that trickery doesn't work very well. We understand that Isaac recognizes him. And then later on, Esau goes and complains and demands another blessing from his father. But the damage is already done. And the relationship between the two twins is already difficult, if not bad, to the point that cannot come back together. There are a couple of questions that I think are quite interesting about this Torah portion. Number one, the question, what does it mean to have a birthright? Perhaps in ancient times, even not so ancient, to be the firstborn imply a lot of things, positive and negative. Positive, you got a double of inheritance in comparison to your siblings. Negative, you had the responsibility in case the father would pass away to help your younger siblings. Maybe start working very early in life. A lot of responsibilities were associated with the birthright. Um, that's the first question. The second, um, what about this um, favoritism of parents towards children? How do we feel about Rebecca as a mother? asking her son Jacob to lie to her father. That's a very, very modern concept when parents get involved and take sides. And ultimately, what about children who begin to dislike their parents, like in the case of Esau that ends up hating his father and hating his brother, and they go away and break the family relationship? Is there a moment in, the, in which we can come back together? As you can see, Parashat Toldot has themes that are very crucial to our lives today. And I think it will be wise to review it uh, with us when we read it on Shabbat or on your own as you open the Chumash and find Parashat Toldot and read from it. Certainly, Sibling, sibling rivalry and family relations is at the core of this Torah portion. So I invite you to join us on Shabbat, Friday night and Shabbat morning and Shabbat afternoon through Zoom or Shabbat morning in person, up to 10 people allowed to be in shul to read from the Torah and learn, learn more lessons from this wonderful Torah portion, Parashat Toldot. Until then, I wish you a Shabbat Shalom. Take care.